Today we are going to be testing the world's fastest pizza oven. Oh my god! The world's most awesome pizza machine. We'll see about that, buddy! Sasaji, hope you guys are all doing super well. Today I have a banger video for you guys because I found something I've never seen before. If you like pizza or if you've ever eaten pizza in your life, smash that like button right now. I want to see how many pizza lovers there are out there. I don't know why they made this. They should be concentrated on making TV shows, but yo, Nickelodeon came out with a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pizza maker. Check it out, guys. It cooks frozen pizza. You just lift it up, you put your pizza in, and hopefully it cooks it. Perfectly. I'm pretty sure this is a very old product because I found this at like some vintage store If it can't even cook a frozen pizza, yo, it's going straight in the garbage And if it does cook the pizza properly, well then, uh, yo, it's pretty nutty it Fits up to 11 inch pizzas with any crust frozen, ready made, or handmade faster than a conventional oven Hey, really? So first off, let's move this pizza out of the way. I'll eat you later. Actually, I'm gonna die. I won't eat you later. Ninja Turtles. You know Ninja Turtles' favorite food is pizza. So it makes sense that this is a, a Ninja Turtles pizza maker. Okay, break it. Now we can't return it because you just broke the styrofoam. There's a no return policy. Wait, what? Oh, by the way, look at the box sun damage. It's blue here, and this is where the sun never hit. It's green. Okay, I think we might just have to break the box. It's falling out. All right, so first of all, we got a manual here. It says we got to put this. Okay, no one cares about that. Whoa. Here we go. That is nice. Can you guys name these turtles in the comment section? I think this is Leonardo. I think this one's DiCaprio. I think this one is Oscar. And I don't know the rest, so help me down below in the comments. Jack. So let's open it up, see what we're working with. Ooh. Ooh, not bad, not bad. It seems pretty simple. You just... Plug it in, and then when it says it's ready, then you stick your pizza in. Is that it? That's so easy. This seems simple enough. I mean, do we even need to clean this? It's getting hot. Is it Feel really? It. Put your hand there. Here. Oh, it is, it is, it is. All right, we'll close it, and we'll wait until these two things light up. I went to the store earlier. I picked up some pizzas that we're going to test. Let me just grab it out here. So the first pizza we're gonna be testing is just a classic pan style pizza, Canadian because I'm from Canada, duh. Got pepperoni, mushroom, bacon, and uh, champignon. We got our classic bagel bites. I grew up on bagel bites, so good. The next up we got is a thin crust pizza margarita from a restaurante, so I think it's restaurant quality. We'll see if it's good. A little update on the pizza maker. Still no light showing up. It's so hot in there. Just read the manual and said that we have to clean the outside because there might have been a lot of dust accumulation during packaging. And as well, when I just opened this, it feels like it's burning off like some top coat of, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't smell good. By the way, it was plugged in for like five minutes, guys. Look how hot it got already. Oh. Clean it with soap. Sheesh! Saying this works. Look at the smoke sizzling off of it. Oh my oh. god. Ew, ew. What is that? That's what I would have eaten? Oh, you're doing such a good job. I'm gonna be over here. I'll get the pizzas out of the box. Oh! Are you mod? But not only that, we have the final test where I will be making my own pizza with pizza dough right here. It kind of looks very liquidy though. That's a little suspicious. It does say frozen pizza on the box, but if it's a good gadget, it should be able to make any type of pizza. I don't, it doesn't need to be frozen. Pizza mozzarella, we have pizza sauce, and of course, our pepperoni. We're gonna do the DIY pizza for last because honestly guys, I don't think it's gonna work. I think because this device is so old, the lights inside actually burnt out. Cause there's nothing going on here. We don't know if it's ready to be used, but when we lift it up, yo, 
It's hot. So we're just gonna have to wing it and just say, yeah, uh, I think this is pizza hot. The first pizza we are trying is frozen, as recommended by the box. Use only frozen pizzas, nice toast. I wasn't filming, guys. The green light just turned on out of nowhere. It's awesome, dude. It says use oven mitts. I don't want to burn my hand. Okay, so we have to be careful. It says wear oven mitts. Let's open it up. Use two. See if it works. Here's the pizza, and hopefully we hear a sizzle. Make sure you use your oven mitt here because you don't want to get burned. Um, use it on the hand that's touching the machine. What? Bake for 12 to 14 minutes. Nickelodeon says it's the fastest pizza maker. Can can you see that? Does it can can you see that? Is it focusing? Is it focusing on the camera? Yeah. It says faster than conventional ovens. While we wait for the first pizza, I'm gonna move over here and start making my DIY pizza. Is this what pizza dough is supposed to look like? We gotta flour the table so the pizza dough doesn't stick. Ew, 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 ew. I've never, this is my first time handling pizza dough, guys. Oh! What you wanna do with this, I think, is you wanna just flour it up. <coughs> Are you needing. <coughs> Ew. Fire gun. Looks like no one's gonna be eating that pizza. What? I didn't cough into the pizza. You're gonna use your fingers and mold out the pizza dough so it's in a circle. Look at me. Look at those holes Ooh. in them. There's no holes. Here we go. You ready for this one? Oh, <laughs> yeah. There's a big tear in there. There's no <laughs> hole in the pizza. I don't think you're supposed to be you doing that. Yeah, yet. you are, of course. Have you ever been pizza? Not before? a big ball like that. Like this? Like oh that. Gosh. And then just turn it until it starts looking like a frisbee. You call that a frisbee? That. Ooh, whoa! Oh. Okay, we don't have a roller, but I do have this water bottle here, here, here. Oh, look at that! No bod, no bod. Is it stuck? I thought we put. Fu oh my god! Oh, oh my Lord. god, guys! Done. No, no, it's not done. No, no, no. What are you doing? At the end of the day, if everything fails. We have leftover pizza from last night. Three slices left. It has been 10 minutes. Let's open the first pizza, see if this machine did its job. Oh my God. That's the perfect looking pizza. It's not burnt on the edges. All the cheese is melted. We gotta try it out. Okay, I need a chance for this in one go without it falling on the ground. Oh! We're gonna taste test this one, but we can throw in the next one. This is the thin crust. We're gonna only give it five minutes on the dot. See what this machine can do. One pizza done, thin crust pizza in. Here. We're transferring the DIY pizza. Can you put it like a pizza, please? It's stuck. Oh my god. Do not buy fresh pizza dough unless you know exactly what you're doing. Otherwise, it's gonna come out like this. Yeah. It's actually delicious. Oh my god. Mmm. That's a banger. It's really good. You didn't really give me a circle shape here with the dough, but I'll see what I can do with it. What's the first step? We need a uh, pizza sauce. I like my pizza saucy, so we're probably going to use a lot. But at home, just use as much as you want. There is a technique you do with a spoon. I, I'll just use this right here. You put a nice healthy blob of it in the middle and then you take your the back side of your spoon and you just do circles like this. And spread the sauce out. Ooh, not bad. Not bad, not bad, right? But I like my pizza a little saucier, so we're gonna, oh! We have 100% freshly grated pizza mozzarella cheese. Great value. Yeah, it was freshly grated and packaged and sent to my local Walmart where I bought it. So I know it's fresh for sure. I'm just gonna grab a nice handful. And the same thing with the sauce, you just wanna throw in the middle and then use your spatula here to move the cheese around. Wait, that was just, just for the sauce, right? Sprinkle the cheese Yeah, on. yeah. That, okay, maybe I was wrong, you just sprinkle the cheese on. But let's see how our thin crust pizza is doing. It's been five minutes. I'll be shocked if it's already done. <gasps> Whoa! So the thin crust pizza, this is how it turned out. Look at that, no burn marks. Ninja Turtles, man, Nickelodeon. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> yo, 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 don't go to that one yet. We're still working on that. That's a work in progress. Let's try this thin crust pizza. There's a crunch in the thin crust. Listen, listen. 
That's two for two, baby. Last but not least, no pizza is complete without pepperoni. One thing I hate about pizza places is when they jip out on the pepperoni. You should not see anything. You should cover the entire pizza with the pepperoni. That completes Big Dick Dave's pepperoni pizza. Now let's lift it up and we'll put it in the oven. Okay, this is this is kind of hard here. Hold on. Oh, oh my, my god. god, oh my god, oh my god, what's going on? It's a commitment thing here. Here we go, one, two, three. What the hell? What'd you do? Last but not least, we got the bag of bites in the pizza maker. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's hot. Oh, it's really hot. Mmm. Yo, this is the best crust so far. Maybe because it's so small, it's actually very crispy and delicious. Mmm. So overall, I would give that oven two thumbs up. It did exactly what it said on the box. It would cook the pizza faster than the conventional oven, which it did. That absolutely blew my mind that I can have a personal pizza ready for me to munch in six minutes. So to all the doubters at the start of the video that saw the Ninja Turtles on the front and said, there's no way that it's gonna work, I say nay nay. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see me test more gadgets, then you know what to do. Smash that like button down below. Until next time, I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> <laughs>